everyone to have a garden, but the main thing is, if you love, you learning. If you don't love, you don't learn. I learn a lot of things because I love it. I really love it. And when I started growing things, I, it was one success after another. Things would start growing. I found I was actually a natural at it. Um, but the other thing that I really found, which is really fascinating, was the food tasted absolutely delicious. And other people tasted and told me, oh, this tastes great. The work we do in the garden, it helps us to keep our mind clear. And uh, uh, we do enough exercises so that we can um, have our health, uh, you know, in order. And it looks beautiful around the house. Uh, you can grow all the vegetables I wanted. Yeah, I make the garden for hobby, I, for exercise, because it's uh, healthy. No, no go to buy it in the market because it's different. Yeah, a lot of price. The relaxation and the um, physical exercise part, it's really... Um, part of a healthy lifestyle. It really just a space and a place away from the world where you can just relax and you can just reconnect with nature. You can, it's a really calming, meditative, peaceful place to be. It comes down to health, convenience and beauty. Vegetables that are picked fresher have far more nutrients than when they're left on the shelf. We know what we're eating. We use organic heritage seeds. There's no genetically modified organisms in there. Um, and we know there are no pesticides and herbicides on them. They come from a nice, rich, organic soil. The convenience is uh, just fantastic. Once you've grown vegetables, it's impossible to not have a garden and not have fresh-picked vegetables. We think the garden is very beautiful. There's a lot of diversity. We uh, interlay everything, that everything's integrated, the flowers and the vegetables. It's uh, good for the environment as well uh, because we, um, we collect the water to uh, use in the garden and also recycle uh, washing water. No chemicals in the garden, we never spray. We use a lot of compost, we recycle the grass we cut uh, and the scraps from the kitchen and we made in the compost uh, we also grow worms in the garden and uh, that helps a lot. We never use any fertilizers apart from uh, sheep manure. One of the best things is that you get seasonal produce all year round and it actually tastes very good. You know exactly what's gone into it because with the way I grow everything, there's no, no chemical fertilizers, no pesticides, um, no chemicals of any kind, no herbicides, you know, I don't need to do any weeding. I don't need to spray for anything. Whatever you put into the soil goes into your plants. Whatever goes into your plants goes into your body if you're going to eat it. So with this whole garden, I know exactly what's gone into it. And most of it's all grown with compost and liquid out of my worm farms. Um, so it's all natural. It's all organic. There's a concept called food miles. How many miles your food's trailed before it gets to your table? If you look at when it comes from overseas, you've got all the um, the ship's um, fuel, then you've got all the trucking and all the other freight and everything else. If you grow it in your own backyard or you grow it locally and you do a, a fruit swap, we do lots of food swaps and fruit swaps where we swap excess surplus produce with other people and all our food has zero food miles or very little. We can virtually walk the distances that our food um, travels. So in terms of benefits to the environment, it comes down to comparing factory farms to local organic farms or local organic gardens. Factory farms use a lot of fossil fuels. The transport of the produce then uses a lot of fossil fuels. And a lot of pesticides and herbicides are also used in the production of that food. Um, we also, a lot less water is used in this situation. So I think the, the benefits to the environment are very obvious. If everyone who was able to had their own home garden there would be far fewer carbon emissions and a lot less damage to the environment. When I done the quality, 
I give to my children and to my、uh, grandchildren and to my friends. Oh, they take it. You bring people through here, whether it's adults or children. Children are fascinated by all the things of interest here, whether it's all the nice smelling plants or the fish or carnivorous plants and、um, all the flowers or the berries that they can just walk around and harvest and eat. People just love all the biodiversity, all the rare and exotic fruits and all the common ones as well. There's a bit of everything for everyone. So. It really just feeds the soul on one level. Yeah, you know, it really reconnects you with nature. It really gives you that sense of being reconnected to the earth and realizing that nature gives us everything freely, and all we have to do is put a little bit of effort in, and it all just happens by itself. And we share ideas, we share produce. I produce more than I can actually use here, so I give it all away. So it encourages that whole community aspect of sharing. We swap plants. We、um, invite people in here. People meet other people. So it builds a whole community, like you would have in a smaller village type environment, where people get to know each other properly. They share things. They、um, share common interest, and they all help each other share their knowledge, their experience, and ultimately, we end up、um, distributing more plants around the city of Darabin, which is where we are. And what what this contributes to is a lot more of Greening the suburbs for us to to just walk around or, or or sit and look at the garden is very special, and our son loves it too. He children love to pick berries, tomatoes, things like that, and they're much more likely to eat them if they've seen them growing and and pick them themselves. And when you get in the garden, you enjoy it, and and you feel you feel happy that you、uh, did something. Uh, worthwhile. My idea is, and then all doctors say that the exercise is the best for the old people. So I try to do in that. Number one for exercise, and number two is because I really love it.